It seems like it's back to school for O'Connor and the Ground Patrol team. We're at Pinelands North Primary School. And I tell you what, it's been a while since I've been back to school. Look at this. They've got lockers these days in primary schools. Never had this, but I'll tell you what, it is always good being back at a primary school. Now, primary school is doing so much in terms of empowering their learners to get behind a book and read. I don't know when last you got behind a book and read, but today it's about leaders that end up being, or the readers that end up being leaders. And this is why we're here today. They've selected a handful of people that are leaders in the industry to come and read to some of the kids. I'm about to walk into this classroom. They're all going, shh, shh, shh. So come with me. And let's walk in there and surprise them. This is Mr. Wagner, who's a teacher in grade six here at Pinelands North Primary School. Be careful of the step, but come on in and let's say good morning. Morning, everybody! This is the road not taken by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. And be one traveller long I stood and looked down as far as I could to where it bent into the undergrowth. Then took the other, as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. That as for that passing there, had wore them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet now, now knowing how ways lead on to way, I doubt if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. So, as you can see there, that, that, that poem in itself, and there's loads of like, when I first read the poem, I thought, I don't know what he means, because I know that he's taken a road and it wasn't all that well traveled. What does it really mean in the bigger scheme of things? And what he's saying is it was so easy to take the one. Both of them looked equally um, um, uh, enticing when you woke up in the morning. One you could see was worn, the other one wasn't so worn, and he thought, why go that way when I can go this way, and I'm going to go down this way, and one day I'm going to look back and say, this is the road I've chosen, this is where I am now, and I've done it myself. I've paved the way out myself.